What is Oracle AIM? Oracle AIM stands for Application Implementation Methodology. AIM provides a proven implementation approach and a toolkit to plan, execute and control the implementation. It is the only implementation method that is truly built for Oracle applications, specifically for Oracle eBusiness Suite. So as you could see on the right hand side, I have depicted a picture from the AIM method itself that details the phases of the project under which it must be carried on and the processes being listed on the left hand side. So each of these phases will contain a number of processes from the ones listed over here. For example, definition phase starts with project management wherein the project manager builds a project plan and identify the team members to work with the client to start the implementation process, which could include talking to the clients to understand their requirements and then working out an Oracle solution and presenting to the client in the form of conference room pilots. Similarly, elaboration phase is the one wherein the requirements identified in the definition phase would be further refined as per client's business processes and the requirements which cannot be met with Oracle standard e-business suite solution would be identified as gaps and then the consultants would work with the clients to have them customized. And the process carries on so we'll understand the entire process as we go along in the course from redesigning business processes to production cutover aim advantage encompasses all essential project steps for minimizing risk and facilitating a fast high quality implementation so aim in itself are of two types one is called as Oracle AIM Advantage and second is called as Oracle AIM for Business Flows. The way in which each method is used to implement Oracle eBusiness Suite is slightly different. This is something I'm going to explain to you later on in the course and the method you choose out of these two can make or break an implementation. So it's extremely important for you to take a well-informed planning and then take a decision to choose which AIM method you are going to leverage for your e-business suite implementation. Oracle AIM is a methodology that details what tasks are required, what order should they be completed in and what resources are required. So as you could see, in this particular diagram it will have links to all the tasks that gets executed in the definition phase under each of the processes lifted on this side for example in project management process under definition a task could be define a project plan similarly under business process mapping process under definition phase, a task could be identify the client's present requirement and document their present business process flows. Likewise, the data conversion is a process under which you would identify the client's present data, which has to be converted to be brought into Oracle eBusiness Suite. So that's where you would define the data mapping between client's present data and mapping into Oracle eBusiness Suite production tables. So in other words, AIM provides you a structured approach to execute an Oracle eBusiness Suite implementation. So phase by phase, you will follow the AIM approach leverage the standard document templates that AIM provides which are associated with the tasks and activities within these processes and then carry on with your implementation phases. The methodology is purpose-built for Oracle Applications eBusiness Suite and the detailed deliverables produced are designed with 
the Oracle applications product in mind. So AIM can be leveraged only for Oracle eBusiness Suite, but out of my own experience, you can also leverage AIM for Oracle Fusion applications, which is fairly new product as compared to Oracle eBusiness Suite. The processes within Oracle Fusion applications and the functionalities are pretty much similar to eBusiness Suite, but what is different is GUI, the forms, and the navigations. Hence, you can leverage Oracle AIM there as well. However, you must have considerable applications experience for implementing Oracle eBusiness Suite so that you can advise client accordingly in terms of implementing Oracle Fusion applications using AIM method. Oracle AIM provides templates for all the tasks that require some with different phases for Oracle project implementation. So what I have shown you here are the faces and on the left hand side are the processes and within each of these processes you will have different tasks and each of those tasks will have a document template associated and that's where AIM comes very handy that Oracle provides you the documentation template and that you can simply fill in the blanks according to your project to execute that task as a part of project deliverable. Let me show you how. I'm going to take you to one of the AIM methods. So let's say AIM advantage method. And here you can see these are the processes listed. And on the left hand side, you would see uh, those processes information and these are the faces. So if you click on each of these process or if you simply scroll down, you would see the details. So let's say in business process architecture you will have these many tasks and each task will have an associated deliverable template so if you click on this it's going to open that associated deliverable template something like this so here the file is not found never mind but um, if you click on that and if you have really got a install on your desktop then it's going to pop a documentation template associated with that task similarly you've got things like bp80 it's a develop future process model it's one of the tasks which is extremely important as we go along in implementation of oracle business suite for documenting the client's present model and the future model which has to be depicted in oracle business suite in other words it details the as is model of the client plus the 2b processes which will be executed as a part of Oracle eBusiness Suite implementation. So that's all is AIM about. As you go along in the course, I'm going to go into the details of the different types of AIM. We will also discuss each of these processes by each AIM types. And then we'll also drill down to each of these phases as well. And we'll also open a number of AIM templates to see how they look like and how one can leverage them as part of Oracle implementation.